It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. The high school basketball teams in action tonight on the road at New Hampstead. Then they're home Saturday night at the Benny Ratliff Arena. Jackets are home hosting hosting Appling County on Saturday night. Saturday night is homecoming night at the Benny Ratliff Arena. At halftime of the girls' varsity game, the king in this court will be crowned. The contestants are as follows. Corey Best, Griffin Phelps, Palmer Lamb, Judson Holly, Nate Anderson, DJ West, Andy Peel, Antonio Rees, Gavin Mixon, Richard Pittman, Carson Shaver, Tyler Walling, Aiden Jones, Hampton McElwain, Joshua Campbell, Quincy Herrera, and Rhett Ammons. Once again, the Varsity Girls game Saturday will begin at 5 p.m., so keep that in mind. Again, it's been moved up to 5, and again, the homecoming festivities get underway during the halftime of that girls' varsity game on Saturday. Recreation basketball on Tuesday at U Basketball Boys, Eagles 10, Bulls 0, Heat 6, Warriors 4, and 10 U Boys basketball was the Hornets 16, Hawks 4. The Kings lost to the Tar Heels 27-16. On Thursday, last night, 8 U Boys basketball, Eagles 8, Warriors 0, Bulls 20, Heat 3. In 10 U Girls basketball was the Aces 4, Sun 0. In 14 U Girls basketball was Wayne 16, Alma 15. Reminder that Wayne County Recreation is taking signups for baseball, softball, track, tennis, and golf all the way up until their deadline, February 7th. If you want to sign your child up, stop by the Recreation Department or call the office at 912-427-5915. Varsity soccer teams began their season Thursday in Hinesville, taking on Bradwell Institute. Varsity girls roll in game one, winning 8-1. to one. Goal scored by Vivi Meja, Arlen Rivera, Danny Brantley, and Ashlyn Pittman. Again, 8-1 the final over Bradwell Institute. Voice match ends in a 1-1 tie. Both scores came on penalty kicks. Bradwell in the first half led 1-0 on a penalty kick. Second half, Wayne County's Emmanuel Herrera has a goal on a penalty kick. Again, the final score, 1-1. One one. Girls wrestling team in action day over Toombs County. That action begins at 5 p.m. Atlanta Falcons select former Rams assistant Raheem Morris as their next head football coach. Morris is the Falcons' first full-time black head coach in franchise history. Age 47 was on Dan Quinn's staff. When he was in Atlanta for five seasons with Atlanta, was interim coach for 11 games in 2020. The Falcons interviewed Bill Belichick twice. He appeared to be the front runner, but they state reports are that the two sides could not work out an agreement. Ken Morris has been the Rams defense coordinator for the past three seasons, was a former head coach with Tampa Bay. Raheem Morris, the new Atlanta Falcons head coach. Sunday's championship Sunday, and after going 3-1 last weekend, going to try to Sweep the two games on Sunday. It all begins with the AFC matchup. That's Kansas City at Baltimore. Kansas City Chiefs are in their sixth straight AFC title game. As Patrick Mahomes is without a doubt the best quarterback in the NFL. Andy Reid just continues to win as a head coach. He's the only coach in the NFL who has the most wins as a head coach with two different teams, both Philadelphia and now Kansas City. Great coach. We can't mention Kansas City without all the Swifties out there in their Travis Kelsey jerseys. Kelsey was asked this week if he's in love, and kudos to him. He gave the politically correct response. He says he'll leave his personal life personal. Baltimore Ravens are the number one seed, have home field advantage, and their quarterback, Lamar Jackson, is this year's NFL MVP. That's just about a certainty, and thanks to former Georgia offense coordinator Todd Munkin, now the Ravens offense coordinator Jackson has flourished and as dangerous as ever as both the runner and passer. But there's an old saying in football, and that is defense wins championships. And another former Georgia coach, Mike McDonald, who coached four years under Coach Mark Rick at Georgia, is a Georgia graduate, is now the defense coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens. This Ravens defense is legit. That'll be the difference in the game. They shut down the Bills in the second half last weekend. They should handle Kansas City this weekend. Again, I got the Ravens defeating the Chiefs. The Taylor Swift cameos come to an end. Ravens advance to Super Bowl 58. Game two is San Francisco hosting the Detroit Lions, a Cinderella story of the year's NFL season. Who doesn't love the fact that the Lions are just one win away from being in a Super Bowl for the first time ever? The problem is they're up against the best team in the NFL, and that's the San Francisco 49ers. Niners at home, like Cinderella at the ball, the slipper and dream comes to a close. I got the Niners at home winning and advancing to Super Bowl 58. So the Super Bowl 58 should be San Francisco and Baltimore in Las Vegas, usher the halftime entertainment. One of the nation's biggest and best events set for Sunday, February 11th. Get the popcorn ready. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.